mine everyone so we're on our way to mexico's wonder of the world the chichen itza probably the most famous site in uh in mexico obviously since it's the wonder of the world and we've been here once before about five years ago so we don't remember it that well we obviously remember the main pyramid but it is quite a big complex and we're leaving here from Valladolid, where we've been staying the last few days. And we're just gonna head into the center now and probably try and get a Colectivo, one of those little vans there. I think it's only 40 minutes away. All right, so we're inside the complex of Chichen Itza now. It was 533 Mexican pesos per person. And I didn't film the entrance because they can be kind of weird with uh, video cameras. I think they charge more or sometimes even confiscate them, even though we're only, only using a GoPro. So that's just something you got to keep in mind. You also can't bring drones. They check your bags and stuff. So yeah, just think about those things when you come. And on the entrance, there's gonna be loads of people asking to be your guide and stuff if you wanna guide. So that's always an option, but we're just gonna be going alone. So when you enter, there's a big road here of all souvenir shops and stuff. Right on the entrance. Can I buy a sombrero, Carol? <laughs> no, thank you. No? Yeah, they say we need a sombrero for the sun. <laughs> we probably do. Yeah, we probably do, but here is definitely overpriced. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the traditional Mayan dresses. Yeah, I actually bought one the last time I was here. You, I bought, you bought it and never used never it. Used it. <laughs> I don't know why I bought it. Though. Where is it now? It's in Brazil. Oh, in Brazil? Yeah. Maybe you can still use it. Yeah, for carnival or something, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. so here it is you may have seen this image many times in photos so that is the main pyramid that you'll see whenever you search like Chichen Itza and Chichen Itza is actually the ancient city it's the whole complex I think a lot of people think it's this pyramid so all the way around as well there's loads of other ruins that we're able to check out but yeah that is obviously the most impressive and biggest one so I read that the ancient city is older than a thousand five hundred years but this pyramid was built between the 800s and 900s. Carol, even though we've been here before, I think I forgot how impressive it is. Yeah, it's huge and there are many other parts that we, we're going to check. But of course, the, the, the main one is the most impressive one, El yeah. Castillo. I think that's how it's called. Yeah, I forgot to mention it. It's called El Castillo, El Castillo. which is the castle in Spanish. A lot of the complexes have that same name because I think the Spanish just thought they were some sort of castles and not like... Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a religious temple kind of thing, right? Yeah, for like ceremonies. Yeah. Before yeah. the Spanish ship, they would probably see and think, oh, it looks like a castle or something yeah, like that. Yeah, some sort of like defensive thing. And I think in uh, Mayan it was Kukulkan. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but something like that. guys it's like uh, skulls loads of skulls carved out in the rock it's all different little ruins like I was saying before so you have this one here not sure what this would have been can't really get close because of this barrier but there's also loads of designs and stuff on the rock kind of faded because of the erosion yeah so literally everything in here has designs I think this is a Jaguar the Jaguar is very popular in the Mayan culture. Yeah, but all these rocks have 
carvings. It's a shame that it's faded. Ah, this one I can kind of see it looks like it's some sort of soldier or something. You can see the head here. Incredible. Look at the size of this one as well. So this that you see in here, this huge area is a ball court and when we came here last time we didn't even know what it was and we've been to other pyramid complexes and they also have an area like this where it's just a strip going through and it's basically for a ball game, a ball game that they used to play. I think the ball game's over 2,500 years old and it consists of like a rubber ball but apparently they don't really know the rules of the game properly still. So I think this area here would have been like for spectators. I think there's a ramp on the other side. So either side you would have had some sort of spectators here. It's also a ring. So they think that's got something to do with hitting the rubber ball through. Really high though. And then they have one on either side. And they had those rings on the other ruins. I think yeah. Koba had the same thing, but smaller. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but they, they also have the, this design. Yeah, look at that. That looks, so cool. that looks incredible. Goes all the way down. Pretty cool that they had ball games like 2,500 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah they I think they invented football, yeah. the Mayans. We discovered <laughs> yes, it. The Mayans were very intelligent. Oh yeah, of we course. Can see from all the their buildings and the, the history that we have, we have about them. Not only the Mayans, but all the ancient civilization that used to live here in this area. Yeah, for sure. So this part is the sacred cenote. I think there's two cenotes here in the Chichen Itza complex. You can't swim in there obviously, it's kind of murky as well. So we read that this was used for religious ceremonies, so the people gave like offerings here. I think when they studied this area, they found like gold, jade, different things like that. And they also found loads of humans remains of like even children and adults, obviously. So they think like some sort of sacrifice, um, religious sacrifice ceremony also happened here. Yeah, I wouldn't want to swim with skeleton bones anyway. No, <laughs> but maybe on the other cenotes that we go, maybe they had the same Oh yeah, they might have done. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe we've been swimming with dead people all this time. So this temple that we've come to is called Templo de los Guerreros, Warriors Temple. It owes its name to the rows of pillars displaying relief carvings of warriors. Ah, so I guess those are all, well they were all carvings of warriors, right? On these oh, yeah. pillars. I can see some. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Something. Yeah, here. very faded though. Yeah. <laughs> All these temples that you're seeing, they weren't like this at the time. They were actually painted, so they would have been colorful. So yeah, imagine all these things just full of color. You can only imagine now what colors they would have used. I think we have been to other temples where they've kind of uh, painted it a bit, right? Inside, yeah, just I to kind of show how it would have been. Yeah, in Teotihuacan, in Mexico City. Yeah, there's a part that they painted. Yeah, and it's very interesting. Yeah, it must have looked even better. Look at all these pillars though, of the, the warrior temple. Goes all the way down. Check this cool one out, all overgrown. Flight Tomb Raider or 
Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel when I'm in these places. Angkor Wat, when we went to Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Yeah, a Tomb Raider was filmed in yeah, was Angkor Wat. We went to the temple, right? Uh-huh, yeah. all the trees, it's so nice, just like this. So this is one of the original Mayan houses. We saw some like this in Bacala. You can see on the outside, they're like covered in thick mud. So all the way around here, I guess the whole thing would have been covered in mud at the time like insulation or something. <laughs> yeah, you can go inside too, so... Yeah, this is the kind of area that they would have lived in. Actually quite spacious inside. Oh, I think that's the beehive. <laughs> Hopefully no bees in here. So you can't really see this next cenote, but yeah, it's down there and once again, it's not a swimmable one. And then right next to it, there was a temple so there's a place uh, near merida south of merida called ushmal another temple complex and that one's completely awesome because it's like so preserved so these kind of temples with the pillars that you see in here in ushmal you'd even have the roof and everything like completely preserved so you could actually properly see what the temple looks like and that was also a huge complex and that might have been the best one that we've been to there's also teotihuacan I'm not sure if that's in Mexico City or near Mexico City, but that one is huge, way bigger than this. I think that's the biggest complex we've been to. We made a video of that place as well, so yeah. We one... didn't make a video of the Uxmal, but Uxmal or Uxmal, I don't know how it's pronounced, but we have some pictures maybe we can show. Them. Yeah, maybe we can show it because it was really cool, really awesome. detailed as well. So we were on our way out and then we realized that there's actually this whole other section with loads of other ruins and temples that we didn't even see last time. And it's actually a big area too. And probably some of the most impressive buildings yeah. we've seen here, right? I think it's the best part of the, the whole complex. Yeah. I think it's called Air, uh, Area Sur, South Area. So oh, South Area. Yeah, you need to check that out. Yeah, look at this. Like, none of the other buildings were like this. That looks crazy, like the whole thing is carved out. And then even this other one here. And I'll show you more temples, cause even back here, there's these big ones. There's some over there as well. So yeah, this place is way bigger than we thought. We already said it was big. Now it's even bigger. Time to cool down. Super hot. Imagine this place in the summer walking around. Yeah, it's Oh, uh, midday now? Yeah, need to buy a sombrero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a wind, but it's not enough. It's still very hot. Yeah, give me some. So we're gonna be heading out now. We're gonna head back to Valladolid and eat some nice Mexican food as usual. Found a nice spot here on this bench. Carol's filming the, the guy making the masks. And check this view of Chichen Itza from this side. Awesome shot. I actually bought a, a mask last time we came. I don't remember how much it was. I think I spent around $20. I'm not sure what the the price should be. But it's pretty cool to see that it is man-made. I think when I bought it, I was wondering if it was actually man-made or not. But yeah, when you pass the stalls, you can see them actually chiseling. So I think they're all man-made.
the main square of Valladolid that we explored yesterday. And we've come here because there's a really nice food canteen here with loads of different options to eat at and pretty much all affordable as well. Enchiladas grandes. Vegetarianas. Yeah. Wow. Look, looking good. So this is what I call a good vegetarian Mexican dish. We ate this yesterday and it was so good that we came back. Probably like 10 different vegetables on this thing. Yours is like nice and crispy cheese. Yeah, mm, I love it. Yeah. Got like the peppers, um, what else? There's avocado inside, lettuce, carrots, uh, onions. What else? Beets. Beets, yeah, beetroot. And then you got like the nice uh, spicy sauce as well. And this was 80 pesos, so good price. We got it from that spot over there. But if you look around, it's a really nice food court. Loads of different options all the way around. Even Chinese back there. And you're right on the square, so it's yeah, still got the nice views of the street. Spicy like yesterday? Yeah, but a little bit. Spicy. Yeah. I think when you get the green sauce, it's less spicy than the red, right? I don't know. You don't know? That might be fake news. I just made that up. So, do you guys eat like me? Like all perfect, or do you eat like Chris? Did you just mix up everything? <laughs> <laughs> Really tasty though, yeah. the flavor. There's also uh, radish, um, tomatoes. Yeah, lots of vegetables. Yeah. So we're at the little sombrero store here. I got myself a hat. <laughs> Carol thinks I look funny. No, I look nice. <laughs> this is uh, 130. They have loads of them here. All different prices. Okay, gracias. <laughs> So that's gonna be it for this video. We're both really tired from all that walking in Chichen Itza. And we're gonna stay here one more day tomorrow. So we got some other good video coming up. Then we're gonna visit some cenotes, loads of cenotes around here. So if you like this video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this from Mexico. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you around.